Hey guys, welcome back to another review. In this review, we're gonna be going over this light right here. This is the Sakani X60. So let's just jump into it. All right, so my first impressions on build quality, very, very good, not cheap plastic. This is mostly metal, it's a very good light. Comes with a good bag too. I put my tripod right on top of it. As you can see, it comes with some dividers, um, the reflector, which is nice, a remote, and the normal uh, AC power, uh, power cord, which is, you know, obviously needed. The light itself is actually pretty small. I thought it was gonna be you know, bigger than what it is, but um, it comes in at about 80 watts, and whereas the 120D, as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger, but that's also 180 watts. So it's, it's gonna give you more light, but it's, you can kind of consider this the little brother to the you know, 120D. They both have Bowen mounts, so that's really, really good. You can buy the same uh, adapters and accessories, and you can put them on either, either light, whichever you have. One thing I heard a lot about on the, I guess the previous generation of this light, um, the yoke really wasn't very good. It was very weak and couldn't support a lot of different um, lighting domes. So I wanted to give this a good shot and put, I put my um, Aperture Light Dome Mini on there. I really don't think I'd put anything bigger on there, but I had no problems with putting that on. The uh, yoke was nice and tight. As you can see, it's got the teeth that are very, very strong. Um, I had no issues with that whatsoever. So this generation, they definitely upped it with that. The one thing I dislike a little bit is I wish that, given how small this light is, I wish there was some type of a battery mount. Um, they do give you the power cord and that's traditional and everything, but it would have been nice to have that kind of built in, just throw a battery on there and keep going. There is a lot of built-in effects. It seems like most lights these days are coming with a lot of effects and that's very, very good to have. Um, I don't personally, I wouldn't really use too much of them. It, they do have like the lightning effect and a TV thing for, so you can have um, custom types of effects, but I didn't really explore that too much. I think uh, if you were doing short films and you needed some lightning or something like that, it would be pretty cool to have in there. So it's definitely nice to have, um, but I don't see myself you know, use, utilizing that very much. Now let's talk about the remote. The remote's kind of thick, it's very chunky. You know, it's, it's much bigger than the other remotes I have on there. As you can see, this is the uh, Aperture light, uh, which is very, very small, that remote. The newer remotes are pretty small. Even my air conditioner is super slim remote. But this guy, it's very thick and chunky. Um, the buttons, they click really, really loud. Um, the screen is, you know, it's okay. It, it does the job. The one thing that always confused me though is when I hit the power button, I always thought that when I hit the off button, it was gonna turn the light off and it doesn't do that. It just turns the remote off. So, I mean, not a big deal or anything. It's a typical remote. It's just a little bit bigger than the other guys. So here's how this light looks on me. I mean, it's, it does a good job in my opinion. I have no other lights on besides this one and it kind of lights me well. I have no complaints on it. It's super bright. This was only at about 55%, something like that. And like I said, what I did is I just, I only put the Aperture Light Dome Mini on there. That's gonna be kind of my go-to on there. Um, and I don't plan on putting really anything else on there. It lights me uh, just fine. And this is more of a finished look. I have the uh, blue kicker light on, on the back, something I personally just like. Um, I should have put the light a little bit taller just because I don't like the reflection on my glasses, but I forgot to do that. Um, but overall, I really like this light. Like I said before, it actually has a CRI rating of 95. So that's super, super good for a light coming in at that price. So I'm impressed. So if you haven't already guessed it, I do love this light. It is awesome. You're really not gonna find a better light out there for under 200 bucks. I definitely recommend going out there and getting it. So that's it for this review. I'll catch you guys in the next one.